People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Any fool can criticize, complain, and condemn, and most fools do. But it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. Actions speak louder than words, and a smile says, I like you. You make me happy. I am glad to see you. You can conquer almost any fear if you will only make up your mind to do so. For remember, fear doesn't exist anywhere except in the mind. Don't be afraid of enemies who attack you. Be afraid of the friends who flatter you. No matter what happens, always be yourself. Talk to someone about themselves and they'll listen for hours. When we hate our enemies, we are giving them power over us, power over our sleep, our appetites, our blood pressure, our health, and our happiness. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. One reason why birds and horses are not unhappy is because they are not trying to impress other birds and horses. If you are not in the process of becoming the person you want to be, you are automatically engaged in becoming the person you don't want to be. Everybody in the world is seeking happiness, and there is one sure way to find it. That is by controlling your thoughts. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. Two men looked out from prison bars, one saw the mud, the other saw stars. It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about. Names are the sweetest and most important sound in any language. The expression one wears on one's face is far more important than the clothes one wears on one's back. The world is full of people who are grabbing and self-seeking. So the rare individual who unselfishly tries to serve others has an enormous advantage. When the fierce, burning winds blow over our lives and we cannot prevent them, let us, too, accept the inevitable. And then get busy and pick up the pieces. Control your temper. Remember, you can measure the size of a person by what makes him or her angry. If you tell me how you get your feeling of importance, I'll tell you what you are. Even God doesn't propose to judge a man till his last days, why should you and I? I have come to the conclusion that there is only one way under high heaven to get the best of an argument, and that is to avoid it. Avoid it as you would avoid rattlesnakes and earthquakes. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something instead of lying there and worrying. It's the worry that gets you, not the loss of sleep. You can't win an argument. You can't because if you lose it, you lose it, and if you win it, you lose it. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Let's not allow ourselves to be upset by small things we should despise and forget. Remember life is too short to be little. All men have fears, 
but the brave put down their fears and go forward, sometimes to death, but always to victory. We all have possibilities we don't know about. We can do things we don't even dream we can do. First ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen? Then prepare to accept it. Then proceed to improve on the worst. Flattery is telling the other person precisely what he thinks about himself. By fighting you never get enough, but by yielding you get more than you expected. <laughs>